In this video, we will be discussing the project schedule processes, which are part of the time management knowledge area in project management. The first step in creating a project schedule is to gather project requirements. This involves identifying all the tasks that need to be completed to deliver the project scope. The second step is to create a work breakdown structure, WBS. This is a hierarchical decomposition of the project into smaller, more manageable parts. The WBS defines the project scope and provides a framework for organizing the project schedule. The third step is to create a project schedule. This is usually done using a Gantt chart, which is a bar chart that shows the duration of each task in the project. The fourth step is to identify the critical path. This is the sequence of tasks that must be completed on time for the project to finish on schedule. Any delay in the critical path task will delay the project as a whole. The fifth step is to create a project network diagram. This is a visual representation of the project schedule that shows the interdependencies between tasks and the critical path. The sixth step is to perform schedule compression. This involves shortening the duration of the project schedule without changing the scope of the project. This can be done by using techniques like crushing and fast tracking. The final step is to establish a schedule baseline. This is the approved project schedule that is used as a reference point for tracking progress and managing changes. An example of the project schedule processes in action can be seen in the construction of a new building. The project manager would gather project requirements, create a work breakdown structure, and then create a project schedule using a Gantt chart. The project manager would then identify the critical path which may include tasks like laying the foundation, erecting the steel frame and installing utilities. The project manager may need to perform schedule compression to meet the project deadline, such as by hiring more workers or using prefabricated components. Finally, the project manager would establish a schedule baseline, which would be used to track progress and manage changes to the project schedule. And that's it for the project schedule processes. By carefully planning and managing the project schedule, project managers can ensure that the project is completed on time and within budget.